hey everybody good morning it's joe baby here oh. um it's day 69 and i am at mile roughly 1190 and i think after showing you what the trail looks like and there's more that's why they call Pennsylvania Roxylvania <laughs> um, yeah it's it's not too bad you just got to take your time right all. Uh, but I guess apparently now we're going to start getting into these big boulder fields. But you know, you get you get in, you do the boulder fields, and you get into these. Uh, they're still rocky, but you get to take little breaks, you know. So, it's not terrible. Not terrible yet, anyway. Uh, today's Mother's Day. I just wanted to say Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there. Especially my mother and my wife, Anne. I love you. Wish I was hanging out with you. That will come soon enough. Um, so really, oh, here's a little campsite right here. Overlooking the little valley. So, recap. You saw my last video. If you did. Oh, cool. There's a lookout here. I might as well take a peek at it. You know that the past few days it's been a rain fest. An absolute rain fest. Trails were completely flooded. And um, we could have stayed out and camped, I suppose, those nights. Could have stayed out and camped, like I was saying. But uh, it would not have been fun. I'm not going to say we're miserable enough because it's not like I'm miserable at all. But uh, we we were back with uh, Casper. And hummingbird, me and Eminem, back with Casper and hummingbird. And they were going into Pine Grove, Pennsylvania, uh, to the Budget Inn or something. So uh, Eminem and I decided we would tag along, split the shuttle, split the room, and um, I mean, hey. So I checked the temperature yesterday. It was in the 40s. Okay. Plus, it was hard rain. Plus, the water was literally ice cold. Like, your, my feet were numb most of the day. And uh, 10 plus miles of walking in ice cold water. It was the real deal. And my feet this morning, my feet were sore. Make sure I'm on the right trail. I got off trail earlier today. My feet were sore, my feet were stiff. <clears throat> you know, so, 
it took a toll on the feet. So anyway, we did the uh, budget in last night. Not a bad place. I mean, when I say that, I, I think you probably know what I mean when I say not a bad place when it comes to hiker amenities. Um, it was clean, we'll put it that way. And that really is the biggest. That's my only uh, big requirement. Everything else is just a plus. Long as it's clean, it's not real janky or gamey smelling in there, we're good. Not that we didn't stank it up a little, that's for sure. You know, because all of our stuff was, excuse me, soaking wet. Shoes, socks. Uh, so we actually, you know, we just rinsed our socks off. We rinsed them out. They were completely packed with mud. Rinsed them out. Let them dry. Pulled our inserts out of our shoes. And let hot air blow on them from the, the wall unit. And, you know, there was a little concern about this morning about it being, you know, if you saw the video, you know, there was always that possibility we we're going to get back on trail and have to walk through what we walked through yesterday, which was insane. But it's turned out pretty nice. Also yesterday, which I did the video uh, before, um, well, I'll tell you in a second what happened. So, you know, we're hiking in all that water, and I knew there was a flooded beaver dam coming. And so Eminem went first, and he got, I don't know, 60 feet out into the water, feeling around with the hiking poles, you know, to see how deep it was. And he, he was just feeling around in the wrong place because it was like, uh, well, I'm just going to say at least three and a half, four feet deep waist foot high or waist foot waist high water <sighs> so he's like no way no way so he backs up i was like let me let me try let me feel around a little bit so i get out there and i'm poking around and i was like oh yeah we can definitely do this you know i found a spot it was probably only knee deep flood water it wasn't swift water you know it was an, it's a dammed up body of water by deep beaver so anyway i'm feeling around i'm feeling pretty froggy too no pun intended and uh feeling pretty good that i found a route through the water and i have this damn broken hiking pole I had it lodged into a tree under you know a, a tree that was underwater and it slipped off the tree and I fell in all the way to my waist and my pack which my pack didn't fully go, go underwater but and I have everything's in double dry bags and nothing got wet up my pack obviously which made it heavier and my pack cover which I discovered a little bit further down the trail that it was uh had a bunch of water in it so yeah that's what happened yesterday um today's way better obviously it's, it's chilly it's in the 40s might be in the 50s by now. Not sure. But as usual, as long as you're moving, you can stay decently warm. I mean, I've got shorts on. And uh, I'm staying pretty warm. The hood comes off and on as needed. 
Isn't this trail wonderful? Yeah. Try walking on rocks all day with sore feet already. Like I said, it's not that bad. It's, it's uh, there's not too many days I haven't had some kind of sore feet. And we are in Roxel thing, like I said. So, you're just gonna get that. Uh, today's plan. So, apparently, Casper and Hummingbird that I was talking about in previous videos after they dropped us off, but we're having breakfast this morning at the hotel and it's supposed to be a surprise, but I think she wanted to make sure that we didn't pass the shelter, but at the, uh, I think it's called the 501 shelter, something like that. Fresh ground's going to be there. Fresh ground is the, uh, he's the trail angel and he cooks food. He pulls up in his van. He's got this big long van and he literally cooks food. Um, oh. And the rule is, is that you have to eat as much as you can and take as much as you want when you leave. And he has everything. And I'll have a big uh, five gallon jug of Gatorade. He'll have like tubs of bags of chips and cookies and all this stuff. And then he'll, he's making, he's making lunch for us. So that's going to be pretty nice. So we're going to stop. I'm going to meet Eminem and Hummingbird and Casper. Maybe if they catch up. Um, meet them at that shelter. But since we've had three relatively short days, two 17s and an 18 miler, I think, uh, we're kind of itching to get the wheels turning a little more, a little faster, uh, so to speak. So, me and Eminem. Uh, so we're trying to get a 26 miler in today forget the name of the shelter. For some reason, I'm thinking it's Eagle's Nest Shelter. Eagle's Nest, I don't know. Maybe. So that's what we're trying to do, get 20, 26, 27, something like that in today. Uh, get back on track. Uh, what else? Hiking poles. So I've got this one good one. Well, it's not a good one. It's wore out too. Um, and then I've got my broken one, which I've used so much. It keeps getting shorter and shorter. And because I'm so, you know, gun shy about, you know, I had to bounce it from Boiling Springs to Wind Gap, which is still 80 miles from here. So basically I will have hiked all of Pennsylvania, which is the rockiest section of the AT with a broken hiking pole. That's where I needed it the most. But, you know, I just it just couldn't uh, work it out with the postal system because it's running so slow nowadays. So, yeah, broken hiking pole all the way through Pennsylvania. It's not the end of the world though. I'd like to have it. So far, I'm doing well, but we haven't gotten into the bulk of the big boulder fields like I just went through. That, that was one of the first big ones, and it wasn't really that big. So, we'll see what happens. Um, <clears throat> I can still hike without them. I'll just have to slow down a little bit because they really help with balance. And I believe they help to reduce injury, especially on the knees and just balancing uh, as you're going through those rocks. So I'll probably take some more videos and definitely some more pictures as I get through there. 
And uh, that's kind of what's going on in my world. Once again, just want to say happy Mother's Day to y'all. Hope you guys, you ladies, have a fantastic day. You get to do what it is that you'd like to do the most. Whether it be relaxing or maybe going for a hike or something. Who knows? Um, but whatever it is, I hope, hope you uh, have a great day. And like I said, especially my sisters and my mother, Joanne, love you. And Anne as well. All right. Hope you all have a great day. I know I will. Talk to you later. Bye.